Hey guys, I have been asked several times to do a video about how I started Pretties for Your Face and how it came about and how I got into it and everything. And I keep saying I'm going to film it. I did film one and then I somehow lost the footage because that happens to me a lot and it drives me insane. But I'm going to try and sit here and do it today and hopefully be able to edit it and get it up. But basically... The thing that drove me to do it in the first place, or I'd, I had been wanting to create my own makeup for a while just to see if I could do it, like make my own eyeshadows and stuff. And at the time, uh, for work, I was working from home still, but I was doing transcriptions, which is if you do that all day for a long time, just typing at a computer, it, it was wreaking havoc like on my neck from being in the same position all day long my neck would kill me at the end of the day and I was like I have to find something else to do because I can't continue to do this like all the years that I spent being a friggin cashier had done enough on my my neck and shoulders already so I didn't want to further make it worse and I was starting to get like the carpal tunnel in my wrists so um Definitely didn't want to continue doing something that was gonna leave me in pain and aggravation and everything, so uh, the first the first like start of, the start of it anyways was when the rainbow highlighter became popular from Bitter Lace Beauty. She was the one that started it or even if she wasn't the original one that started it, hers was the one that blew up. So I had noticed that everybody was kind of giving her crap on her Instagram and everything and saying how horrible it was that she would like announce a release and then sell out of them before anybody could buy any. Um, so I was like, I wonder if I can make that the same type of thing and get some sales from that. So like, I'm totally giving Bitter Lace Beauty the credit for me getting my company started because I made six or eight of them. I started, I had already had an Etsy account because like years ago I was trying to sell jewelry and stuff and stuff I had painted and that never worked out which was always a bummer for me because I'm very artistic and I always have been so like the fact that I've tried so many times to sell my artwork on different social media platforms and stuff and nothing ever really worked out for me that was always aggravating as heck to me so I already had an Etsy shop I don't remember what I called it I seriously can't remember what the name of it was but I used that same page and I changed it to pretties for your face it took me a long time to come up with that name and now I'm kind of like <sighs> not really regretting but kind of rethinking naming it that because now I do bath and body and everything it's not just face stuff anymore but anyways nobody seems to mind it that much so I shouldn't let it bother me but I, I put up the like I said six or eight rainbow highlighters that I had made and they weren't the same exact uh, thing as the bitter lace beauty ones because hers were more like um, sheer pastel, not pastel, but um, like iridescent colors, and mine were like metallic-ish, but I put them up and they sold out that day, and I was like, okay, let's see if I can make some more, so I ordered a bunch more supplies. I do get a lot of my supplies from TKB Trading, which has like tons of mica powders and uh, mixing mediums and anything you can think of, but that that's where I got it from in the beginning. Now I've found so many other suppliers and stuff to get things from that I get them from probably 20 different websites now, so I couldn't even sit here and name them all to you. But in the beginning, that is where I went to for my stuff. Um, so I bought like a good amount of each color and mixing stuff that I needed and everything, and I made more, and those sold out. So. I decided to make other stuff and I started making all my other shades of highlighters and eventually I got eyeshadow pans and I started doing eyeshadows. I started off with like five colors and then they were selling so it, 
I started noticing repeat customers, which was awesome because it was like, hey, they're not here just for that rainbow highlighter. They're starting to buy my other stuff too because they like it. So I got more serious about like formulating more things and I came out with the um, like the liquid highlighters, the magic drops and everything. Um, and then I did blushes, which is similar to making the highlighters and everything. But as the stuff kept selling, I was able to like reinvest that money into getting more and more supplies which was just helping me grow the business and everything so that was in I want to say I started in like April or May it was right before summertime so it was that was 2016 um, and then by January ish it was like crazy how many sales I was getting on Etsy but with Etsy they charge you fees for every sale that you make and then you have like this giant bill at the end of each month so I wanted to kinda do my own thing I still sell on Etsy I don't sell the bath and body stuff on Etsy but I sell a lot of the makeup on there just to like because Etsy helps a lot with um, getting your product seen and everything so I kept my Etsy um, and I started my own website, which is produceforyourface.com, but luckily I already had, um, experience with, like, website building and maintaining a website and everything, so that's something not everybody might be, uh, experienced with. I, like, years ago I used to make fan sites and stuff, so I taught myself how to code websites and everything, and... Um, so I have some experience with that, which helped a lot, but when you buy a website, if you have, if you get like the package that has, lets you, it has the builder and everything, that's really helpful for someone who doesn't know like coding HTML or PHP and all that stuff, because it's, it'll let you just add your stuff and then you can like drop and drag, drag and drop stuff where you want it and like pick a layout and it'll have it all pop up for you so that helps a lot too um, and then to do all that and make your own website into a store and stuff it has to be an e-commerce um, an e-commerce website but uh, whatever company you choose to go with mine is big bigcommerce.com is the company I went with. You have to make sure that they're like up on, up and up on their security and stuff and obviously you have to pay every month if you want to have a store because they take care of like the credit card processing and the security and being super secure and everything so that was something that was really important to me. But um so you have to keep that in mind that you have to pay every month for maintaining the website and having it run and everything so there's that and then um, like inventory and stuff there on the one that I have anyways it helps you keep track of all your inventory which really really helps <laughs> especially when you've got like so many different products and you have to make sure oh I have three of these made I have to make some more bef before they sell out and it'll tell you like you can set it to how many uh, like say you want it to alert you that something is low in stock when you have three left you can set it for as whatever number you want um, so that is really helpful as well and I should have made like a little list of talking points here because I'm kind of going off track but yes the website I made my own website and that has been so much more successful than I ever dreamed that it was going to be. Um, the number one thing that has helped me is Instagram. Like, I I don't know what I would have done without Instagram. Like, I've met so many awesome people through it that have, like, helped me promote and grow my shop and, like, we're friends now. I've made awesome friends with these people. And just through doing, like, loop giveaways or... Um, I've had a lot of people ask me to uh, ask me if I could make stuff for their subscription boxes and stuff. That's helped a lot too because then all these people that buy their boxes get my.
product with my card and everything and then they become customers a lot of them anyway um, so all that really helps just like networking and getting your stuff out there as much as you can the one thing I will advise against and warn you to be careful of are people who want to be promoters <laughs> okay so when I first started out I was like up for anything like sure you can have a whole bunch of product sure you can have a whole bunch of product and that hurts you in the long run because honestly probably 90 percent of those people they took my stuff and they never did a review for me or they never showed my product I had two or three people uh, contact me pretending to be youtubers that had like hundreds of thousands of subscri subscribers asking if they could like have some product to show on their channel so I get excited about that and then it turns out that wasn't even the person that was contacting me so a lot of this has soured me from sending out free stuff to people um, and I just like I wish someone had warned me ahead of time about that kind of stuff because I was not aware of it and obviously there's some crappy people out there but <clears throat> I was just trying to like help grow my business and everything so I would warn against sending out tons of free stuff to people because in the end that's just gonna hurt you because you're losing money um, there's also like the downside of Instagram and the promote promoter thing and everything is that you have to watch just take a look at their subscriber count as opposed to how many likes and comments they get on their pictures because I've had so many people with like a hundred thousand followers seventy five thousand followers then you go to look at their pictures and they have like three likes and two comments on every picture like if you have a hundred thousand followers you're gonna be getting a hell of a lot more than three likes and two comments on your pictures so obviously they bought followers thinking hey these companies aren't gonna bother looking at anything else and then everybody sends them free stuff so um there's that part of it so just be if you don't know the person that's contacting you asking for free stuff just kind of poke around their profile if you are like determined to send out free stuff to people and take a look like are they legit do they actually have as many followers as it says that they have or are those just all like ghost accounts that they bought um, that they paid for followers same thing with YouTube like people can buy YouTube subscribers and it'll say oh they have 50,000 subscribers or whatever then you go look at their videos and they have like 10 views on their video so you just have to be like smart in that aspect of checking stuff out before you just start sending free stuff to people because I caught on to it really quick and I haven't sent free stuff to anybody in a really long time now and honestly because of everything I just mentioned sending stuff out to people doesn't really help you get noticed or get or doesn't help you with promotion in any way anyway because they don't have as many eyes on them as they want everybody to think you know basically that's what I'm trying to say so definitely be careful of who you send free stuff to now like I said what has helped me is networking with other shops doing giveaways doing subscription boxes um, joining like Facebook groups and stuff those are the main things that are gonna help you like get your product out there and get noticed and everything um, Instagram videos like taking swatches of new products and sneak peeks of bath bombs or whatever you're making I've found that Instagram videos are like one of the best ways to promote stuff especially if you're coming out with something new so um, I kind of went off on a tangent but in January of last year was when I started my own website the dot com uh, I'm gonna start losing my voice cuz I'm still getting over being sick and like my throat is all dry now <sighs> so January was when I started my own website and when we got our tax return that year it was last year the beginning of this year anyways um, 
when we got our tax return back, we invested a ton of it into supplies and stuff for the shop because we wanted to do bath and body stuff and everything. So, um, that was that that was actually my husband's idea. The the soaps, the lotions. He wanted to. He was like, this could go a lot bigger. So let's invest money into it and make more stuff. So he's actually. I know I've mentioned it before, but he's the one that makes the soaps and everything. So he helps me out a lot. But we got a ton of supplies to start making all that stuff, and then later came the body sprays, and we have plans in the new year to launch new stuff, which is super exciting. But um, you don't have to invest a ton in the beginning, you just have to be aware that you do have to make, you have to spend money to make money, <laughs> is the saying. So get like a good little supply going when you first start out once you start getting sales and everything reinvest all that money into buying more supplies because that is how I started out doing it you will not make a massive profit at first I'll tell you that right now because you have to keep building and buying more supplies and everything so once you get more customers and everything and a following that's where the profit comes from um, and then, I guess the last thing I would say is the mailing list, because I have a mailing list that, um, I believe it's set so that whenever somebody orders, they're automatically signed up for the mailing list, and then they can, like, choose to not get my emails anymore if they don't want to, but that really helps with, um, what do you call it? That really helps with when you're running promos and sales and coupon codes and everything. You can send out an email blast to all those people who have already bought from you um, or have just signed up for the mailing list. It's all, um, I use MailChimp, but it's all integrated into my website. And I'm sure, like like I said, I use Big Commerce, but um, whatever store, whatever website is hosting your store, and running your store should have that integrated somewhere where you can do uh, you can set up a mailing list that way every time you have a sale or anything you can make up a little it'll have tem templates for you and you can put whatever you want on it whatever pictures in there or if you're releasing something say hey this palette is coming out tomorrow and then put all the details and everything that really helps with promotion and everything too so um, the mailing list is the other big thing, but other than that, I can't really think of anything else that I want to talk about. Um, just, I keep trying to come up with new ideas and everything, and the thing that most people get excited about are the palettes, because I always have like a theme to my palettes, which I have a blast coming up with them. <laughs> um, but now I'm going to just start rambling, so that's basically my little story of how I started Produce For Your Face, and this video was a long... <clears throat> um, this video was a long time coming because I had a lot of requests for it, so hopefully it wasn't too rambly, but it is like 20 minutes long now, so 20 minutes of me talking, but... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and like, if you want to start your own company, if, 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 whether it be makeup or bath stuff or stickers or whatever, because I did have the sticker shop for a while on Etsy and I had to stop that because it was taking up way too much of my time, like designing them and everything for not enough product, for not enough profit because I sold them for really cheap and it was just not worth it to me anymore to spend so much time doing that and my sticker machine pisses me off all the time so um, at the rate I was printing them and cutting them and everything I still use the machine for like my labels on everything but it's a lot more mellow now and it's not always aggravating me so whatever you want to start your shop for I definitely recommend starting off on Etsy because that helps you build your customer base and everything and then you can like let them know when you start your own website if they want to follow you there instead but um that's pretty much it that's all I can think of I hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings and I will talk to you next time